Oh, here we are, guys. We're at Talbotville Campground at the moment. On our own, everyone's left for a day, Tuesday, cup day, about 2 p.m. Is it about 2? Uh, no, not, is it? No, it's only 4.30. No, 11, no 1.30. That's oh, uh, behind it. in time still. Thought I'd show you guys a Starlink. Now, we've got a one-way setup in here, uh, one button set up in here. We just press that button there, and Starlink turns on automatically, and then we just press that button, and Starlink turns off. And it's permanently mounted on the um, on the front of the van as a, as a flat mount. People have always wondered how flat mounts go in a place like the high country where there is no phone signal whatsoever. And I'll give you a run. Now that's considerably better than a lot of people have MBN. I mean, it's it's not the same thing and I'm not, I'm not really comparing one for one, but to give you an idea, for someone with no signal, no reception on your phone, one button press and two minutes later their internet's on. This download and upload speed is considerably decent. And that's literally um, a flat mount setup that's hooked up to 12 volt. So there's no inverter setup here. We're just a 12 volt setup. I'll show you what that looks like. It just sits up there just like that. Never gets packed up, just sits there. I can just turn it on when I want. If you have an in-motion subscription, you can also use it while you're driving because the Wi-Fi will reach into the car. But uh, we don't have an in-motion subscription. I can't afford that type of money. We've just got the standard RV subscription, $174 a month. And I just use it this way. So if you ever thought about flat mounting your Starlink, now is the best time ever. Contact us, allterrainaction.com. And we do installs here in Melbourne. And we do simple one-button installs just like that.